People tend to think fundamentals only apply when I play Riven, but that's wrong. So go, Fiora or Camille, you guys can choose. Okay, everybody wants to see Camille. All right, the Camille game coming in for the bros. All right, Nasus top. That means I want to have the most aggressive setup that I can. You can go Grasp on Camille or you can go Conqueror. I want to go Conqueror for sure here. And then I think I want to get Demolish for pushing. And then, do I want Tenesti? I probably want some Tenesti. Now, Tenesti is pretty good against Sona, Udir, and Nasus, but I'm still gonna take Alacrity just so I have a more aggressive early game. Every move you made, I was watching you. Like I do every game chat, and this requires practice. Always focus on this. The first four waves are the most important. So what do we do first? We look at the top side 2v2. I have a Diana Camille against an Udyr Nasus. Nasus is playing with face rush resolve, so he's very weak in the early game, right? He's also playing a very weak early game rune. If Nasus runs Lethal Temple, for example, he can actually do some damage. Udyr is playing with Ghost, so that's one thing to keep in mind. And he's playing Conqueror Sorcery, so he probably has Nimbus. Udyr and Ger uh, Diana are pretty decent in the early game. Udyr is much stronger and clears much faster, though, so that's one thing I have to keep in mind. Okay, let's focus here. I'm gonna go for D-Blade, the most aggressive setup that I can run. And as you see, if I run double adaptive plus d blade i actually almost have 90 ad i'm going to showcase you guys that fundamentals still apply on a champion with a bare minimum wave clear people always say yeah but you play riven so it's easy to go on the fundamentals yeah, yeah, yeah. shut up all right so first things first chat as always i'm gonna get my ward down because i need to know where both jungles are passing to in the early games the ward complete we see the nasty we see starting item it's a d shoot all right, I can maybe try and cheese him. If I can get any cheese up level 1, that would already be good. I could go for E start, and alternatively, I could go for Q start. Looks like my Diana's pathing to the top, so this is already very good for me. Oh, Diana wants to invade. I'm not sure about this invade angle, but that's his choice. Okay, Udir is here, so I like the invade now. He's a sweeper. Nasus is going to be pathing like this, but Udir is going to be here too. Oh, they see me, I think. Uh, I can't really cheese here, that's okay. I think I probably want to start E here, just because that's the most aggressive damage I can do. No, no, no. I'm going to stand here, I'm going to zone Nasus from the first three mins worth of EXP, just because this champion is such a weak early game champion. I will get the three EXP, he will not. Can I get for a little bit lower? You see, there we go. You can do this on Camille as well, you can do this on Riven. Fundamental supply to every champion. Boom. <laughs> He lost 3 minions worth of EXP, I did not. And now we want to try and get this wave to somewhat push into us, although it's very tricky because that's a zero wave clear. It's okay, I'm going to utilize my level 2 here to get a massive trade. So on this melee minion that dies, I'll get my level 2. He won't get level 2 here. And now we just slow push. Go for the last hit. Go walk up. Oh. I want to try and stand backwards to bait him to walk up for a last hit. That's my idea here. Two melees will put me to level 3 here, and he's still level 1. I'm still gonna just slow push for 4 5th crash. I got a castle so I didn't get my level 3. Very nice. If I can do one more trade like that, I could maybe even look to dive in because I have the flesh ignite. I can get the lighting here because both joints are both sides. Oh, I got the magic shield, I forgot, because uh, he hit me with his E. It's okay. And now I want this wave to bounce back into me, and that forces the Nasus to walk up for last hits. He's gonna go for this melee. Lovely. Wait for my cooldowns. I have to kill this caster. Uther is still bot side currently, but he could come back into top side relatively soon. Okay, he's maxing E. You see, he's E did 80 damage there, so I instantly spot that Nasus is maxing E. It's good no information to instantly notice. I want to zone him from the cannon EXP. There we go. And this wave is still pushing him to me. And now I'm going to do a trick where I'm probably going to look to recall. But this Nasus will never expect it. Oh, wave is still pushing him to me. Now recall. Actually, I want 1050, huh? 1050 is much better of a recall. So I got Sheen Longsword. Could walk up here. I have, I have kill range here. Cancelled one auto. Okay, Uther is back at the top side now around this timer. So I gotta be a little bit more careful. I get level 6 from this caster. If oh, anybody flames be here. my wall up, I'm permabanning you. Whoa, mechanics. My old box in my way. I'm gonna have to flash this. And we're in a wonderful position. Level up timers. Oh, wait, they still work on Camille. Oh, who would have thought? As you guys can see, fundamentals still work on a champion like Camille. Hey, who would have thought? And not me, not me. What a surprise, huh? Level timers work on Camille. And I'm reading my comments on my shorts. Yeah, only because of Riven. Only you can use level up time. Oh, I just got to kill with my level up on Camille. Hmm. Moving on. All right, chat. We have double CS almost. And we are quite far ahead in our EXP. 
All we did was a nice forfeit crash into playing the bounce. Now I'm gonna hold the wave outside of the turret here, exactly as I would do with Riven again. Is it that lost so much to us? No. Nas has lost even more. Like I said, he's maxing E, so it's better for me to try and avoid his E as much as I can. Now, one thing I can try and do is bait the Nasus to eat his entire wave so the wave actually pushes back into me i want to try and make this wave push back into me right because when the wave pushes back into me that forces Nasus to walk up for last hits all right so slow push this wave and now i'm waiting for this okay he loses the cannon i'm waiting for this wave to walk out of turret range as close as here so i'm not gankable too now we hard push this and that will make the wave start bouncing back into me i can also look for a plate here under his nose I just gotta make sure Udir isn't here, and he could be around again. I wanna look for this plate here, and then I wanna recall. Alright. He can't do this. Uh, should've hit the turret. It's okay. You see, I'm double CS still. The reason I recall is because these casters don't change my recall. Plus, the wave will actually bounce back into me right now, which is what I want. Because when the wave bounces back into me, oh, he actually had a ward here, I suppose. Nice cancel by him. Then we just push one more wave and do the same thing. Udir died anyways. All right, we just control the wave anyways. I don't need to dive here. The most consistent play is for me to just look for a recall. Playing to dive here is a risk that I don't need to take. If I just recall, the Nasus is always in a hard position because Nasus right now does not know that I have recalled, right? So from Nasus' perspective, does he hard push this? Well, he could, but what if I'm waiting in the bush, right? So it's very risky for Nasus to hard push this. So from Nasus' perspective, he's very scared. He's still very scared. You see, he walked up and e but he's still scared to push this because he has no idea where I'm currently at, even though his jungler is topside. So it's actually a freeze right now. He does have TP though, I believe. So now we need 500 gold, 600 gold for Trinity Force. We can also sell D-Blade and refillable, which gives us 240 more gold. So we want to look for our Trinity Force as quick as possible. I'm going to move here. We have ult. This guy has no flash. Checking his items first. Okay, boots and that. He's not that strong. You set the Herald. And I'm going to move into top. This is all a result from how I recalled earlier. Even though I don't have wave clear, I'm 86 at minute 10 and Nessus is 40. Oh, we got to move. I'm talking too much shit. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, it wasn't the cleanest. It ended up working out though. We got Nasus flush too. Now I want to hard push out this wave as fast as humanly possible on Camille. I don't care too much about the Udir now. He can have it. I just gotta push in this wave and recall. Get my Trinity Force. Now to push the wave as fast as possible, you generally speaking want to focus the casters. As my melees are dealing with his melees anyways. And now we recall. I don't need this plate because I already have Trinity Force anyways. I get my boots as well. This plate will not change my recall. But if I recall right now, I'll have a bounce timer again where I can kill the Nasus. I have flesh. He does not. He should die here. I go sweep bird, and boom, we're still double CS. So right now you see this means again are stuck, whilst mine are walking, meaning this wave is bouncing. That's why I instantly recalled. All right, now this guy has no flesh. And that's why we instantly recalled. Because we get the bounce timer. Udir is mid, and we're gonna get a lot of plates right now. Fundamentals, hey, they still apply on Camille chat. Who would have thought, huh? I keep saying it because people say it doesn't apply on Camille. But you're wrong! I should get the whole turret here. Then we can start expanding our lead too. We can get a Tiamat. We start getting fast wave clear, and then we can even get to 10 per minute on Camille. Wow, beautiful. Let's see. My team is winning again though. That's crazy. Why do I get such good teams here? I'm a winner skill on this account. I could move butt here, but this thing's probably gonna recall. Monsters here. Let's see. I'm gonna get to Hydra completely ASAP. I have my ult, I can look for roams. So right now, I don't really care about this guy freezing. This is a question I get sometimes too, but Nas is a scaling champion. Don't you care about him freezing? No, I don't really care about this guy freezing and this guy getting a little bit of resources because I can get a lot more resources on the map instead. So now I can look to play for this full turret with my team. Okay, I did not have to ult. Anyways, Nas is freezing. But in the meantime, oh, we just killed Valzar and we get a full mid turret. So what does it matter that this guy is freezing? I don't care. I really couldn't care less. As long as I'm getting more resources than he is getting by freezing, I'm completely happy with that outcome. This guy has no flesh. Wonderful. What do you think of my farm chat? It's pretty fine, right? Now you might argue, yeah, but you were playing against the Nasus. It's an easy matchup. Okay, I could try another game with this, even in the harder matchup, and show you guys that it still all applies. Boom, twice and still.
GG. Now, Camille is a much better roamer than Riven. Every champion has their own strengths and weaknesses. Camille's one of her best strengths is just roaming. I don't even have to use my ult. Also, Camille is very good at turret pushing. Take a look at this. Looks fun, no? Riven couldn't do this, trust me. He was also pretty good at killing ADC piggies. Don't trust the chat fundamentals are view. Jinx is warding, and now she's gonna W this bush thinking she is safe. Does she know chat? Jinx? What are you with? Oh, there you are. She's gonna W the bush, and now she thinks she's safe. Little does she know. Poor little AD carry man. Yeah. Looks like Camille is also balanced. Hello guys, I'm Aloy. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. Oh, that's side set though. Get some auto. Yeah. Uh, on that note... No, I ate the wrong wall! No, I wanted to eat! I wanted to eat on the turret! Mechanics are faulty, okay? Mechanics are faulty, but it's okay. We don't need mechanics for your fundamentals. Camille's broken. Broken champion also. Yeah, I also think it's easier to climb on Camille than on Riven, by the way. Uh oh. Goodbye. But Camille has shit wave clear and can't win most lanes without jungler. Well, I didn't need my jungler this game. Yeah, yeah.